In this video, I will consider one numerical on ABCD parameters. Determine ABCD parameters. This is the given circuit. We are supposed to calculate ABCD parameters. ABCD parameters are also known as transmission parameters or T parameters or general parameters. So let me assume this is positive terminal, this is negative, this is positive and negative. Let I1 is input current, let I2 is output current let v1 is voltage between these two input port let v2 is voltage between output port so we know that first let me define the abcd parameters abcd parameters are defined as v1 is equal to a v2 plus b i2 and we have I1 is equal to CV2 plus D I2. Let me call this as equation 1, this as equation 2. So here we can see that if we make I2 equal to 0, then we will get A and C parameters and if we make V2 equal to 0, we get remaining two parameters that is B and D. So first let me make I2 equal to 0 that is let I2 equal to 0 so therefore we will get A is equal to we have V1 by V2 and here we have C is equal to I1 by V2. So in this circuit if we make I2 equal to 0 let me analyze this circuit now. So here in this loop we know that current I1 is flowing. Let me assume current in this loop is say X. Now I2 is equal to 0. So here we have a current source between two loops. Let me analyze this current source first. So I can write V2 by 10 is equal to I1 minus X. That is I1 minus X. I1 is equal to V2 by 10 plus x so let me call it as equation 1 so here we so here we can observe that v2 will be equal to 4x so from this i can take the value of x will be equal to v2 by 4 that is v2 by 4 that is nothing but 0 0.25 v2 let me substitute x value here that is i1 is equal to v2 by 10 plus x is nothing but 0 0.25 V2 or I can write I1 is equal to 1 by 10 plus 0 0.25 is 0 0.35 V2 or I can write I1 by V2 is equal to 0 0.35 here we can see I1 by V2 is nothing but C which is equal to C so therefore C is equal to 0 0.35 so it is current by voltage, the unit is Mo. Thus we found the value of C. Now here we can see that A is equal to V1 by V2. Now in this circuit, we can observe that the loop I1 and X will become a super loop. Now let me apply KVL to this super loop. So I can write V1 is equal to voltage across 5 ohm register is phi I1 that is phi i1 we have minus 0 0.3 v1 plus here voltage across 4 ohm register is nothing but v2 that is i can write plus v2 or i can write v1 plus 0 0.3 v1 is equal to phi i1 plus v2 or I can write 1.3 V1 is equal to phi I1 plus V2. So from this expression I can write I1 is equal to 0 0.35 V2. I can substitute here that is 1.3 V1 is equal to phi I1 is nothing but 0 0.35 V2. 0 0.35 V2 plus V2 or I can write 1.3 V1 is equal to so phi into 0 
it gives 1.75 v2 plus v2 or i can write 1.3 v1 is equal to 2.75 v2 so here we can see v1 by v2 is nothing but a so therefore v1 by v2 is equal to 2.75 divided by 1.3 v1 by v2 is nothing but a therefore 2.75 divided by 1.3 it gives 2.11 so therefore thus we found a value that is 2.11 so thus we found two parameters that is a and c so now in the circuit to find the parameters b and d v2 must be zero that is if v2 is equal to zero we can see that this will be short circuited v2 equal to zero means this part will be short circuited when this is short circuited the current through four ohm register will be zero so it is as good as this register does not exist if v2 is zero this current will become open as it is dependent voltage dependent current source this will become open in that case we have only one loop this is entire only one loop where current i1 is flowing also here we can observe that i1 will be equal to minus i2 because i2 is flowing in this direction i1 is flowing in this direction so both are opposite to each other i1 is equal to minus i2 so if v2 is zero we will get b and d parameter b will be equal to v1 by i2 b is equal to v1 by i2 and we have d is equal to from this circuit i1 by i2 that is minus i1 by i2 minus i1 by i2 now let me apply kvl to this single loop i can write v1 is equal to voltage across this is pi i1 minus 0.3 v1 or i can write v1 plus 0.3 v1 is equal to phi i1 or i can write 1.3 v1 is equal to phi i1 or i can write 1.3 v1 is equal to i1 is nothing but minus i2 minus phi i2 or i can write v1 by i2 that is v1 by minus i2 is equal to phi by 1.3 so v1 minus v1 by i2 is nothing but b which is b is equal to we have phi by 1.3 so it gives 3.846 so therefore b value will be 3.846 so here it is b is voltage by current the unit is ohm so here we can see that d is equal to minus i1 by i2 but here i1 is nothing but minus i2 so d is equal to this i1 is nothing but minus i2 that is minus and this minus will be plus that is i2 divided by i2 therefore d is equal to 1 thus we found all four parameters so that i can write a b c d so that is nothing but transmission parameters is equal to a b c d we have a value already we have found that is 2.11 c value is 0 0.35 0 0.35 more and we have b value is 3.846 and we have d value is equal to 1 this is ohm so thus we found a b c d parameters for the given circuit thank you for watching